Hey everyone, it's Silveria and today I'm going to talk to you about things that I am excited about that are in the patch 5.1 that are now available on the public test realms. And I mentioned in previous videos how I am excited about the how the focus of Miss of Pandaria is actually about the conflict between the Horde and the Alliance. Pretty exciting. So actually we'll, we will be getting um, new dailies that focus on the conflict between the Horde and the Alliance. So basically players will be defending their faction's outpost and then uh, assaulting the opposing faction's headquarters. We're also going to be getting two new factions, one for each side, and then also if you're really dedicated you'll actually unlock a uh, reputation group daily that you can do for that day. And there's also a lot of updates with the pet battles, which is awesome because I really enjoy the pet battles. We're going to be getting a new item for pet battles and that's going to be battle stones. And you use these to upgrade your pets. And there's two types of battle stones. Um, one is a general purpose battle stones where you can upgrade any pet. And there's also battle stones that are specific to pet families so you can only upgrade a certain pet from or certain pets from a certain or from a specific pet family. There's also been some improvements with the pet journal so you can basically search through the pets easier. There's filters and everything that you can use. You can also find pets by looking in a specific zone which makes that a lot easier when you're trying to collect pets and try to figure out where they're at and everything or what's available in the certain zone that you're currently in or about to go to or something like that. And there's also several classic raid bosses that drop um, new pets. So uh, Molten Core, AQ, Nax. That's pretty cool if you're one of those people who like to revisit um, classic raids every now and then. They made an improvement to the Battle Pet Tooltip which now shows you whether or not you already own the pet which is pretty awesome. Um, that was probably one of my biggest complaints was that I couldn't tell if I already had the pet or not, but I was currently battling at the time. I mean, we're not going to be able to have um, a max total of 650 pets. That's a lot of pets to keep track of, you know? That's, that's a lot. And if you can keep track of that many pets, I am impressed. I am impressed. <laughs> Oh, and there's also a new pet tamer in Darkmoon Fair who gives dailies, and when you complete the dailies, it gives you a chance at actually obtaining a new pet, the Darkmoon Eye. Pretty cool. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And see you later. Bye!